welcome back to my channel if this is your first time on my channel don't do it without subscribing because today we're making cheesecake the first thing you're gonna need for this cheesecake is obviously the inner palm and mix this is the lemon flavor the next thing you're gonna need is one tub of smooth cream cheese which already comes in a tub that's 230 grams which is perfect for the recipe you're also going to need some cream and that's also just perfectly measured 230 ml straight from the bottle uh, you also gonna need some unsalted butter or salted just you decide 100 grams of that uh, some tennis biscuits for your base they recommend eight on the box but I put two packets because oh wow I want it to be thick uh, you also gonna need a glass of water the exact measurement of the water is on the box and then you're gonna need two bowls and these are for mixing one for mixing the cream one for mixing the main batter Please don't go for glass like I did, rather go for plastic as you'll see later in the video. You're also going to need some um, baking paper just so that we're not dealing with anything sticking. And then you're going to need a baking tray, preferably one that can open on one side and is refrigerator friendly. You'll also need a spoon to lay and mix and last but not least a hand blender but you can use a whisk if you're good with one of those. The first thing you're going to do is add your glass of water to your first glass mixing bowl which is preferably plastic, please learn from me. And then you're going to add the contents of your cheesecake um, mix into that water. Definitely go wet then dry ingredients. Don't be tempted to mix anything just yet because next up is our cream cheese. We're going to add the whole tub into this. Um, mixture and then get ready with your hand blender or spoon guys remember when i said do not use glass this is exactly why whoops and this is when i decided to go for a spoon instead so i started doing some manual labor but it became you know pretty easy as the cream and the cheesecake mix started going together and then I decided to bring my hand blender back once I was like you know confident that <laughs> the girl can do the things basically mix until you are satisfied that they have mixed perfectly together next up is our cream and guys this is where the plastic bowl comes into place firstly I think the most important thing is also just to make sure that your blender is facing downwards your hand blender blade should be you know <laughs> down guys but use plastic if you're not sure because it's so much better and just makes sense and doesn't make you look like a little child making a mess like I was <laughs> in terms of the cream you're looking for a pretty fluffy consistency it shouldn't be watery at all if it's watery then you have not beat or you know blended enough so definitely keep going until it becomes like basically like whipped cream once the cream is fluffy you can add it to your cheesecake mix and then just kind of like fold it into each other by mixing and mixing and mixing you really want to make sure that like the mixture of cheesecake batter to cream is perfectly you know blended together so i definitely bought in the hand blender just to well it's a hand mixer isn't it just to make sure that it is perfectly 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 100 percent all mixed together once you're 100 percent satisfied with your batter and you're sure that it's smooth and there's no dry ingredients anywhere you definitely are ready to start decanting um, in terms of decanting this is where your baking paper comes into play just make sure that you've cut enough to cover the full base and the sides of your baking tray if your baking tray if it is possible for you to open the baking tray then definitely do that if it's not it's also okay just to lay it as best as you can um, just to make sure that all of your mix is sitting right in the middle of your baking paper and that it covers all that space that it's easy for you to flip it over and take it out so we definitely are doing everything upside down um, once you fold your baking tray with your filling with your cheesecake filling definitely flatten it this is probably the most important part it's really important to make sure that it's all level and flat 
And it's finally time to start making our base. This is probably my favorite part because I got to get my hands dirty. I think the box recommends about 8 or 10 biscuits. I went <laughs> for a full packet of biscuits. Um, I just started crushing this with my hands. Once I felt like it was as, you know, crushed as I could possibly get it, I went in with a masher just to make sure that that biscuit is super, super, super fine so that it holds well together and doesn't provide these crispy, crispy chunks that you don't need at the bottom of your cake. Once you're completely satisfied with how fine your biscuits are, this is when we're going to add the butter basically to bond it. So they recommend about I think 60 or 80 grams of the unsalted or salted butter but um, you guys will later see that I did add my butter. Um, I added the recommended and then I added what was left over because I just felt like I wanted it to be super super bonded and I wasn't really too happy with um, the level of <laughs> bondage to say the least um, with the amount of butter recommended so I just wanted it to really really stick together and to create a nice sticky crispy base at the bottom of my cheesecake Once you've mixed your butter and biscuit crumbs, lay it right over your cheesecake mix and flatten. Guys, you really want to make sure that this is tightly packed. You don't want to, you know, just leave like spaces and bubbles in between the same way that you are flattening and laying your actual cheesecake mix. That batter, you want to make sure that the crust is tightly packed on top the same way just so it creates the perfect base. Once you're sure that you've evenly distributed your base and that it's all flat and good to go, you want to cover that up with some baking paper just so that it remains, you know, moist inside and put in the refrigerator. I did this for about 8 to 10 hours and this was the end result. And it's taste test time. Guys, it looks so beautiful. Like, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. I'm so excited. 
Whew. Okay. So I'm actually glad I ended up adding um, more biscuits than recommended because oh, this is thin, guys. This is my thin. Um, as you can see, it goes creative. I added some lemons on top or lemon created lemon peel. Yeah, so anyways, let's go in. Mm. Mm. Guys, the grated lemon peel just gives it like that extra like za -za -za tang. And then like the consistency is so amazing, guys. I can't even read this myself. I'm actually so shook. I'm so shook. If you know me, you know that me and cheesecake, especially lemon cheesecake, like all we need on top of here is like maybe some blueberries and then i don't know you know when they like reduce um like that orange whatever like do it with lemon and then like have that sauce over here oof guys it's lit oh actually lit go cop yourself not an ad <laughs> go cop yourself some inner parmans lemon cheesecake tag me tag me tag me tag me on instagram just underscore cakes if you guys make your own lemon cheesecake because guys restaurants um, if you want to go to a restaurant and catch cover then do that but i guess you can uber eat to take out but why not learn how to do it yourself it's also cheaper and you end up having a whole cheesecake to yourself <laughs> girl chow please anyway guys um thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next chef video because obviously i'm becoming a chef now and <laughs> don't forget to subscribe love you guys